If you have no idea who I am, man, and anyone out there who reads Men's Health or watches Men's Health has no f***ing clue who I am, because I would never be featured in the pages of Men's Health unless it was like an obituary or a before picture or something like that back in the past. Here's one where I'm in a pool with clothes on. That's how body shame uh, uh, I am. Hey, Kevin, we're here to see your gym and fridge. Hey, men's health, man. What are you doing here at my place, of all things, man? I don't know nothing about health. If I'm going to invite you in, I'm going to show you my gym and fridge, man. Come on in. I hear you're a vegan now. Uh, I am a vegan. Recently, I went vegan about, uh, I guess, 10, 11 months ago, right after a heart attack. I had a heart attack last year in February. Massive heart attack, because I had 100% blockage in my... LAD, man, that was a widow maker heart attack, almost died. 20% chance of living and came, came through. So um, at that point I said, I don't wanna die, I will go vegan. So I used to be happy and now I'm vegan. So it, it's been a wondrous journey. Wound up changing my life, man. Like little changes in the kitchen, changed my whole life. You wanna go see the kitchen? Come with me. I'm thirsty, you got anything to drink in there? Uh, I can offer you iced tea. I don't really drink anything all that sweet anymore, man. Uh, I have pretty much plain stuff. It's all water or like iced tea, straight up. I don't drink booze. I was never a boozer uh, ever. I'm a stoner. I'm a greens man. So, you know, I'm a traveler of the green. Green tea. Mmm, that is completely flavorless. But that's the thing. We're trained, particularly as Americans, to like enjoy everything. Everything's supposed to be a sumptuous banquet, and that's not true. Anything with sugar, Yoo-Hoo, Twinkies, oh lord, I can mainline that stuff. What did your fridge used to look like? The fridge uh, used to be packed with like a lot of milk. I was, I drank a lot of milk back in the day. I was, a, this is gonna be a little bit embarrassing to admit. I drank two gallons of milk a day. Probably why I had the heart attack. I don't know, we'll figure it out sooner or later. Back in the day, um, this household was just a non-stop Thanksgiving, man. Now you don't do gravy anymore, you do like kind of plant-based mushroom gravy. You try not to think about the mushroom part. What's your diet mainly consist of these days? I'm a big fan of the Beyond Meat, man. I live on this stuff, eat that all the time. WW doing prepared meals, man. And this is easy to do because I'm not like a big fan. And I try not to snack out, I try to stay away from sugar as much as possible. But when I do, uh, this stuff, this made good stuff, is really amazing, man. It's also good to like take out in the world. Sometimes you travel the city to city and they don't have the vegan choices that you have here in Los Angeles. So I pack a lot of like pre-packed snacks like these, man. I love these chickpeas. Oh my God, get between me and these chickpeas, find your trophy, get cut, man. Uh, there's obviously, there's some diet, there's a series of fake cheeses. Everyone in this house, is vegan. The kid went vegan uh, long before anyone else did. And then when, you know, I had the heart attack, she was in the room and the nutritionist was like, maybe you should think about going plant-based. And the kid was like, yes, one of us, one of us. So I kind of did it for her. I ate the way I wanted to for 47 years. I'm gonna give this vegan thing six months. I'll do it your way for six months. It's not even hard. I don't miss anything. You're like, every once in a while, we were just at the holidays, right? The holidays passed. And you're like, oh man, eggnog. I wish I had eggnog. Coconut eggnog. It's nuts, coconut milk eggnog. You can do a f ton with a coconut. Who knew, man? Bananas foster, coconut. Chocolate peanut butter, coconut. I know, you're looking at me right now going like, Silent Bob telling me how to f***ing eat? Yes, believe it or not, man. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I've been through some stuff. And so now I can speak on the issue of men's health. What's the weirdest diet you've ever been on? Weirdest diet I've ever been on, like, because I've been on a series of weight loss programs across my life. I took a fat blocker back in the day, and I can't remember what the name of it was, but it said it blocked 33% of your fat intake, right? So took this pill, and you're eating your normal greasy ass diet, and it's blocking 33% of the fat being absorbed, but instead it's it's manifesting in your body as, wait for it, trigger warning, we're gonna talk poop, greasy, oily So that was like the most ludicrous thing I think I've ever done to lose weight, man. Now I don't, I don't diet at all. Now I just, you know, eat better. So if you're curious and if you're like, oh 
Him? He lost weight? That that piece of shit. How did he do it? That's how I do it. And I did it with relative ease. It wasn't hard. It wasn't like me going, I hate this life and everybody in it. I was easy to be around and stuff. I was thinking about 2019, we're gonna go make a movie, Jay and Silent Bob movie and stuff. So I still wanna be somewhat look like I used to. But I was thinking after that movie, like maybe I will go like become this guy, like jacked Kevin Smith. Um, would you like to see my gym? Let me show you my gym, come on. All right, so I lied. This is my home gym. I don't have enough money to afford a home gym, so I use the outside world, man. Number one, free, no gym fees. Number two, you get to breathe that real air instead of breathing that gym air, which is made up of a lot of sweat. So me and Shecky hit the hill every day. This is the gym. What do you consider to be an intense workout? Uh, an intense workout is something that I would never do uh, because that would turn me off to the idea of health and exercise. So this is pretty much the daily intense uh, activity that I engage in, man. It's about a mile and change all the way up and all the way back. And then when I started losing weight, then I decided to go for Runyon Canyon. That's where all the you know skinny people go hiking. Why do you always wear hockey jerseys? If you saw any picture of me taken for the last 10 years or more, I'm probably in a hockey jersey. I, I lived in hockey jerseys because hockey jersey is kind of like a fat guy's moo moo. Looks really great. You can hide your weight under it. When I lost the weight, I started looking weird in hockey jerseys. It, it, there was a moment where I was like, oh no, what will I do? I branded myself for the better part of a decade. I decided, all right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let that go. So I defaulted to the way that I used to dress in 1997 before I started getting heavy. And that was suit jackets and jean shorts and t-shirts and stuff. Yeah, man, it's weird. It was the end of an era. The heart attack closed a lot of doors, including, you know, on my hot couture. What's your favorite tattoo? So I have a couple of tattoos. I'm not a very macho or, or butch guy by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm a writer. So I have words all over my body. This one says in Smod I Trust. Smodcast is the podcast that I've done for 12 years now. And so uh, I learned over the course of making that podcast to trust my own instincts. I realized in Smod I Trust, I'm Smod, so in me I trust. Over here I got my kid's name, it says Harley's on this arm. That's because on this arm, I have my wife's name it says Jenny's. And if we ever split up, I would turn that J into a D. All right, hit the fitness questions, man. Hit me. Hit me with your fitness questions. 7 a.m. workout or 7 p.m. workout? Uh, 7 a.m. workout. Squats or deadlifts? Uh, squat, believe it or not. Favorite song on your playlist? Favorite song to work out to is Outstanding by The Gap Band. CrossFit, yay or nay? I won't even change a tire in real life on a car, so I'm not going to f*** around with one in the gym, so no CrossFit for me. Pull-ups or chin-ups? Pull-ups or chin-ups? Well, what an interesting question. In high school, I could do neither. I remember hanging there for 20 minutes one day in gym class trying to do one single pull-up and it didn't happen. So, I can't imagine I'd be any better at chin-up. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Uh, I like kettlebells. I like pulling something with a handle. Doing this, that's just too macho for me. Run on a treadmill or run outside? I think if I had to run at all, it would only be when chased. Cardio or weights? Uh, I, I pick cardio over weights every time. Weights feels like a workout, and I'm never trying for that. I don't want to feel like I've worked out. Uh, so I, I go cardio. Big legs, big arms? Um, I have big legs by childbirth. You know, my mom gave me her own childbearing hips in my DNA. So I've got big legs, whether I want them or not. What's the biggest compliment? Jack, rib, swole, cut. Muscle tone and or definition. That's something I never ever expected to see on my body in this life, but I also never expected to see my high school weight again, which I have. Like now I'm thinner than I was in high school when I graduated high school. So anything's possible at this point. Um, all right, that is, that's it. I'm generally, I don't do this while talking, so I'm like out of breath, and I'm gonna continue the workout, because that's what it's all about, health, 
men's health particularly, because I'm a men's. So thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this.